Alright, Lanta, so one of the newest characters coming to the game at Bleach Brave Souls is, of course, the new Parasol Rukia. Judging from this community poll, most of you lads are excited for her. It makes sense. She's setting up to be one of the best and most powerful characters in the game, especially within the power attribute. She is a great character, but... There is unfortunately some problems that we have to talk about and have to make aware before the character does officially release. And the hope with this video is that we can potentially get enough community response for Caleb to once more respond again. Because for those that want to wear, the same situation basically happened over two weeks ago. Halloween Tosha was a ranged character designed for the Quinty Stammerated Guild Quest. His SA3, a trap mechanic, unfortunately was classed as a melee attack and therefore in Guild Quest, and you can see that from their gameplay, he was only doing one damage. And to be fair, he was more of an extreme case, his SA3 not doing damage was a massive oversight because the character was specifically designed in mind for guild quests. That realistically was the main reason why they were selling us the character. So for him to not do any damage on the SA3, I wasn't spending money on that character. But luckily they did actually change it and now he does do damage on the SA3 and he's a pretty good character, especially for the quest again he is designed for. Now in Rukia's case, what exactly is wrong with her? Well, she has a similar situation, her SA2. Her SA2 in particular is a heal attack and it does class itself as a melee attack. So once more, we're in the same exact situation where if you take it into the range of Ranka Guild Quest, the SA1, the SA3 is doing damage, but the SA2 is doing again no damage. And you could make a case that she herself isn't really designed for the Aranka Guild Quest, so it's not that big of a deal. But even so, you're gonna want to take it into Guild Quest. She's a great character. She has an amazing damage output. She would be amazing in this quest, whether she is or isn't designed for it. But at the same time, there's just no need for this attack to be classed as a melee attack. It doesn't offer any benefits. It only gives a negative effect. And that is, again, in this particular mode, she's going to be doing no damage. And that's one of the problems with this character. But what I told you, there was a second problem. And that once more comes back down to the SA2. If you have a look at her gameplay showcase, you will see that when she uses her SA2, she has a like 36 second cooldown. And that essentially is the problem. For some reason, and Rook is the only character in the game to have this, she has a 40 second cooldown on that SA2. Now her SA2 in particular only does heal you. And healing strong attacks are only supposed to have a 30 second cooldown. So that's another problem with this character. And again, it's coming from the same attack. It's only doing melee damage and it also for some reason, first time ever in BBS, has a longer cooldown than what it's supposed to have. Realistically, this strong attack 2 is supposed to have a 30 second cooldown and with the built-in recharge, it goes down to around 27 seconds. This extra 10 second of cooldown technically makes the character worse and in a way is potentially Caleb nerfing this character before she does release. That would be the case if it was intentional, or maybe it is an oversight. Maybe they originally intended this character to have a double effect on that SA2, maybe a heal and a boost, which in that case, a 40 second cooldown would make sense. But when you only have a heal SA2 and no added effect to it, then it should have a 30 second cooldown. So now that you are aware of this issue, what exactly can we do? Well, we can do exactly what we did last time with Toshiro. Go over to the Discord and leave some feedback. Let Caleb know that you aren't happy in regards to Rookie's SA2. It's such an easy fix. And is fixable and Caleb showed that to us since they literally did it over two weeks ago. At the same time, and I will provide links to the Discord and also their email, their customer service email, also feel free to leave an email, right? More the merrier and hopefully we can get Rukia fixed. Either way though, hope you guys enjoyed this short video. Again, if you want to join up in the army of hopefully getting this character fixed, mainly Rukia with her SA2, cooldown needs to get reduced. It needs to be 30 seconds base, not 40. And preferably, the attack should be classed as a ranged attack. Again, there's just no reason for it not to. It makes the character better. It gives you more reasons to spend money, orbs, on this particular character. So go to the Discord, go to the email, and let Caleb know we want this character fixed because this, in a way, is technically nothing the character. Hope you guys enjoyed the video though. Shout out to Molly Prim for bringing this to my attention. I will leave a link to their Reddit post on Reddit. They're one of the main people that are pushing for this to get changed. And hopefully with enough voices, we can get Rukia fixed and also just made better. Honestly, these two changes will make her significantly better. So you have a reason to actually complain. Either way, see you guys next time. Take care and peace.